Your lovely voice. Yeah, not lovely. Not awake. <laughs> not awake voice. We're not, it's no time yet. It is time. We are live, so you are just too bad about that. Funny. Funny, funny. Oh, oh hi. Oh, what? Look at my hair. It's like, huh. I don't think I can. <laughs> Excuse me. What? It's like sticking up. It was, and you could see it like sticking up, oh, like weird. right here. Like devil wings or whatever they're called. Devil horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Devil wings. <clears throat> Look at us. Hmm. Hey, we sort of coordinated. Coordinated. Yeah. yeah. I didn't Look even think that. about that. Look at us. It's cold huh. out. I was gonna wear a dress, but oof. chilly. Yeah, chilly. If I had to walk around town, it was cold. Yeah, I had to layer up this morning. Yay. I mean, we're only saying this because if you're watching us from the Midwest or yeah, East, we are you're looking. suffering, so sorry. <laughs> doing it again. Oh. Look in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a hat? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Hilarious. Then I'd really look bad. That's funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> Do we need some Aquanet? Uh, Oh yeah, we're getting some funny cards. Yeah, that'll be. They have cute. Aquanet can on Aquanet. it. Aquanet. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yep, it's chilly. If you live here, great day to be a knitter or a crocheter because you can get out your wool. Well, if you've put anything away, I wear wool all year. Wool is great, and I was thinking that um, I still think if you're traveling, a wool sweater is probably about the best thing you can pack because it's I breathable. Know. It's, Those animals wear it. And it doesn't round. get like saturated with water. It doesn't right away, stink. You know? It's so. just there's no microplastics. I know. I try to tell people, you know, lots of people come in for baby things. And I'll be honest, we don't have a lot of acrylic yarns here. We have a couple. But I just try to tell people, you know, before babies were before babies were born, back before they invented plastic, mm -hmm. um, all babies were wool or cotton. Mm -hmm. That was it. Um, Natural fiber. And acrylic melts. So I'm not really sure why you'd want to put a baby and in And aren't acrylic. you seeing more and more about, about microplastics? I mean, yes, they're everywhere. I am. Like all yep. the, so I read and I sent this to all my kids, and so I got some feedback. Apparently... Um, those plastic cutting boards that we all have oh, yeah, we were just are not um, advised. If you want to cut back on your personal ingestion of like right. little shards of plastic and in your body. We get things cost money, so you do it when you can afford it. But Right, but then so I texted that out and um, two of my, my Spokane gang was like, but what about bacteria? And then Art said maybe microplastics are greater than bacteria or something. He had the little symbol the math symbol oh of course but um well so i said i'll do some more research and but I, we saw at zest there's some alternative um cutting board things one of them's like rubber super yes, heavy and one is like some kind of a uh, paper but oh yeah paper composite some kind of a, thing. yeah so i feel like if you're an inventor and you've invented an alternative to plastic uh, cutting boards you probably thought about that mm -hmm. so i feel like I don't know. I'm just assuming that people are taking care of us. So well, it's it, hard to clean. I guess it's hard to clean wood, but I suppose you could just use old-fashioned bleach or something, right? Well, I on guess your, I don't know that they would recommend that on bleach. I mean, I mean, I would. Yeah, what I do for my wood because I do have mostly wood. Um, I put it under the water, but then I take like uh, kosher salt. Oh. And a lemon. Oh. And I use the and that lemon kills juice. And the bacteria. Well, I think it does. Plus, it gets rid of any smells. It just freshens it up. And the hmm. salt in that, co you know, the yeah. kosher salt, it's bigger. So, it acts mm -hmm. as a little scrubby. Mm -hmm. mm. That's, yeah. I'll to, anyway. So, yeah, that was fun. Um, <laughs> sorry. I don't know. It's Tuesday. It's the yarn bar. Thank you to everyone yeah. who watches us. Sue and Linda. Um, um, we've had some people coming in, oh, traveling, lots and lots of people. Yeah, it's Let's so see. fun. Denver, Maryland, mm -hmm. Indiana. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I know. And some coming of them have said, "Well, I drove all the way from Indiana just to see you." We know that's not totally true, but I feel like there's a little part of her that thought, mm, "This is my best opportunity." So. We appreciate it for yeah, sure. Yeah, super fun. Thank you, and thanks for Google reviews. All the things. Oh yeah, it's great. We are we're very, very humble and how proud was, um, and happy. How was Father's Day for you? 
I'm not a for, father. As a mother. As, as a, a mother, mother. As a mother. It was good. It was pretty pretty low key. We're still probably recuperating from a trip, to be honest. But oh. we were. I was able to. I, yeah. We went out to the cabin. Did. I'm, just, I'm now. I'm resuming the painting projects. Uh huh. Um. But so that was nice. Sleeping on an air mattress. Not great. Um. I would say that my. I told Jim my. His Father's Day felt like my Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, you said he did a lot of work. Yeah, he did a lot of work. He went to Alice's new salon and did some painting. And then when he got home, he made a cement pad for an air conditioning unit. Mm. And, um, you Wait, know, don't you already have an air conditioning unit? Um, this is for the back old garage. Oh, okay. Because he's had this really old air conditioner that it's just not doing the job. Mm. So, you know, they have those new ones that are sort of like a... Swamp cooler? No, it's something that you put up on the ceiling. I mean, all my kids, or I mean, Maddie and James is oh, where yeah, we saw them those. first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can totally DIY it. You don't have to like have um, an but electrician. But there's or... an outdoor thing too. I thought it was just something. No, that was on it the does wall. have something that's connected. Oh, so okay. nice. Yeah, so we put that up, and I just sat there and knit. Well. Well, he did all that. It's like, Sunday, hey. man. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't have to cook because Alice was cooking ribs oh. at her well, house. her father. That's right. Good. Very yeah. good. I thought about my dad. I think that yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. Yes. My, uh, yeah, my dad was, we, I saw him twice, so that was good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, so what are you wearing? Oh, well, today I'm wearing... The vest I've worn a, a billion times. It's the market vest from Kate Oates. It's the striped mm -hmm. version. And I don't know, it's probably amongst the favorites. I'm glad it's a Cute. vest because honestly, I don't have a lot of summer knits. So the vest thing helps me out mm -hmm. a lot because I can wear it and I not know. feel like I'm totally. Yeah, I was poking around in uh, wool options and I almost wore a vest. I mean, it kind of, this is a shop sample. So this is the um, Guernsey tee. Tulip. Gansey tea. Tulip. Tulip Gansey. Yeah. Tulip Gansey by Midori. So the same lady who did that wonderful ranunculus. Right. Um, the Gansey tea. Gansey. What's it called? Tulip Gansey. <laughs> it's in my brain. It's going to stay that way forever. Um, but uh, this is knit with Luma. And uh, Luma is a, a pretty wonderful, big pretty too. big gauge. Yeah. Luma is a great yarn for this kind of weather for sure. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, three, you know, three or four season, depending on where you live. So yeah, um, Gans, tulip Gansey. Okay, tulip Gansey. See the it, tulips? Get it straight. And you can also make it long sleeves if you want. So it's fun. We did it as a class. Lindsay knit this. She was the teacher, and I don't know. Hey, Lindsay, if you're watching, where yeah. are you? <laughs> <laughs> Summertime oh, has funny. hit. So okay. All right. So um. Should we talk about our oh, works, in, works progress, in progress, or should we talk about our recap for kids camp? Um, well, we could jump right into works in progress. Okay. All right. Where's your Shrek bra? <laughs> it doesn't look th much different. Okay. I mean, I'm working on the back side. Okay. So now it's a double-sided bra. So <laughs> here, you hold this side. Okay. This is the joinery that we are Pretty. doing starting. Okay, move it close so they can see. This, you can see the see joinery. joinery. Yes, yeah. see that? It's a fun little thing what you do. So does that come apart at all or is it joined? No, like, it's totally joined. Like nice. so you take these last three stitches and before you finish it, let's see if I can pretend to do it, you would put the three stitches oh, you kind of made buttonholes there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the three stitches come through and then you just knit them on the other side mm -hmm. so nice. yeah so it is pretty cool i am just getting ready to do so i am doing the back right now i'm getting ready to do this part right here so that part is this the back yes you just said uh -huh. that okay yep yep so this i think is going to be a bunch of like knit two together but yarn over a few mm -hmm. times because then those will get dropped that's and fun because it goes so fast I love yeah it really that is stitch. i'm yeah. anxious to see how the next panel i think it's gonna fit over here i don't know do you do that whole joinery together. thing again on the uh, well, on the panel i don't see the holes i i didn't do any holes on that's either sides said. of those so <laughs> stop <laughs> oh my god did you say that <laughs> see if anybody noticed that one. 
<laughs> oh, scary. Okay. All right. Okay. So joinery, just FYI, we're doing a knit along and we've got lots of people excited. We do. So Already many people. ordered yeah. more yarn. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to use this color here. The black is going to be this panel in here on mine. So, so is there couple versions? Okay. Yeah. Cute. Adorable. Yeah, I am still right now pretty committed to my belief tank. But I think that's really awesome, the, the tank. I think of having yeah. a tank top. So let's see. I believe there are, if I stick to the pattern, which probably I'm going to have to do an extra stripe. I think there's seven total stripes before you start oh. doing some shaping for oh. the little armholes. But I might do another one because I have kind of a long torso. And what is this so. one's called? The Belish? Do you remember the, the designer? Um, Atelier Emily. Okay. Um, she is French. Um, it might be Emily. I think it's Atelier Emily. Yeah. Anyway. And you're using Mojave. I am using Mojave, and I do like it. Um, I think it's going to be a great top to wear. Mojave comes in really fun, really nice colors. Yeah, I love So some I great neutrals and some beautiful brights. brights. Yep. So anyway, okay. yeah, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of slow. Yeah, but, but might get to wear it in August. About <laughs> once, one stripe a week is what I've decided I am. So yeah, you know, a one stripe week, week, one striper. Yeah, I, I mean that, I guess you can probably see what my knitting time is like it's I really know. not it's very much thin. by the time you get home i knit do some i cooking. knit this morning i was going to do yoga but i chose to knit over mm -hmm. yoga even mm -hmm. though i had yoga all ready to go oh you just <laughs> it's kind of i was tempted this morning to like nah, i don't feel like getting out to the gym thing but i did um because just those rainy i know cool, i know really chilly but i found out i made a mistake that I had to rip out mm. in that because my yarn got caught in that little hole that I was showing you. So I literally had to take it out. I couldn't like even try to fudge it or oh, anything. Really? So, mm -hmm. cause yarn would have been like carried across the back <gasps> oh, wow. somehow. So okay. anyway, yeah. so yeah. So when it's fresh in your mind too, you kind of like, I know. And I did it. that last night. Like mm. I knit that part last mm -hmm. night. But now I'm ready to go okay. for the big part. Sweet. So All right, yeah. cool. So anyway, joinery. Um, officially, it begins the 22nd. But of course, you can join whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And um, we're happy. To, we've got a nice, um, you know, stock of that yarn. So yeah, and you can mix and match it with kestrel yep. too. Uh huh. And They're I do think the silk linens. plus you could double that up. I feel like mm -hmm. to kind of do that too. It might be a lot with all those yarn overs though. Like maybe it might yeah. be. Yeah. It might not be the yeah. Right. So. Yep. Anyway, we've got options. Yeah, that's okay, fun. Okay, so we're excited about that. Um, we're really excited about how our kids camp went mm -hmm. last week. Um, we had six um, young ladies. Six lucky gals. Yep. And, um, and a really lucky troop leader basically <laughs> um and we gave a we gave a hand too though we were yeah we were out. helping out we did a couple activities with them and um i think the consensus was that it was great so we have two spots just two left yeah, for july the july one eight through the 12th mm -hmm. is those dates and so they they dyed yarn, and we already have Nicole scheduled to come back. Mm -hmm. to we met some wonderful Lammies, sheep called Will and Will Grace. Grace. Um, there was knitting, there was crocheting, there was weaving, there was dyeing, there was um, yarny crafts. Mm -hmm. We did some fun stuff at the very end, mm -hmm. messy and fun. Yeah, so. good, good, clean fun. Yep. Yeah, it was fun. So two fun spots one. left. So if you know anybody, hi Cindy, how you doing? <laughs> um, yeah. So if you know anybody, yeah, just to we had a lady sign up yesterday. And I believe it was um, her, like I'm assuming her daughter and a friend. friend. Yeah. So um, yeah, just two spots. So grab them, spread the word still. But I think I'm pretty sure that's going to be another full yeah, group. Yeah, I do too. Wednesday. That do kid too. energy is fun, but it's also kind of exhausting. <laughs> You know, and we only had six. Yeah, we haven't I mean, had my hats off to to teachers. Oh my god! I oh know one person for what twenty eight to thirty uh, it's, kids. I, oh my yeah, gosh! They, teachers are not paid enough because I don't know. Like just we just had six, and just I know, and just you the, know, you like, want to get to know the personalities, and their personalities of each one of the and, kids. Is, yeah, you know, and they were all like at different places in maturity, mm -hmm. and so even though they were all 
kind of in a similar age group. Mm -hmm. um, they're just so different. I know. Yeah. So that, I mean, that's the beauty of it all. And again, I, if you are a teacher, more you power are to you. Yeah. yeah. Oops, someone's yeah. calling. Yeah. Sorry, we Sorry. can't answer right now. Please Catch. take a leave a message, message at the tone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have some other ideas because you know it. We still basically have like what six weeks left of shirties. Mm -hmm. So you can totally do another shirt. Oh yeah. Like I could probably get this done and then jump into another right. t-shirt if, if I want to. Right. And if you're doing that knit along, you're in shirties automatically. Yep. Yep. Um, if you didn't get your little um, present from us for that, yeah, make remind sure us, you tell us. Yeah, we not. got a message from Michelle in Denver mm -hmm. wants to jump in. Oh, so. sweet. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So we might be picking okay. colors for yeah. her. And then so. new patterns are always being released, too, um, this time of year, too. So we have a couple of new patterns. Well, first to one, if you haven't noticed, we've mentioned. Um, the four-day knit-along from... Uh, Marie Green. This is the newest one. So mm -hmm. those usually launch July 1st. They call it a four day knit along, but I always say that's four times 24 because nobody should be knitting um, a whole sweater in four days. So yeah, um, kind of hurts your hands. So this one's called Spill the Tea. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cute. I it think cute. with the little ridges, um, it is out of a sport weight yarn. So we is do it have a few somewhat ideas. Somewhat similar to this. Um, a little bit, maybe but has, a little variation. But, but Mojave would be a great selection for mm -hmm. this too. Mm -hmm. well, but we have some other suggestions. Yeah, we do. We she does some. have them with a wool, and so um, we ch picked um, Andorra. So a I was thinking the green for the main, and then these two. If mm -hmm. you look, there's those little dot dots. That's actually kind of cute. It's like a little dot. Mm -hmm. I like it. Anyway, so we thought that one. I wonder I what size needle she's suggesting for this. I did not look. We didn't look. But um, this is probably truer to the picture. This is a nice one. This Nieva would oh, be. Yeah, that would um, be a that's great a pretty combination. One and super I thought soft. maybe this peachy color with the yeah the blue dots. The blue yeah yeah, oh, yeah that or would be whatever really, right. I mean we just we've the, got other colors. The we just world a few. is your oyster. Yeah, that's right. Um, here's Hempathy. For a summer version. Yep. Um, Volvo, wonderful Portuguese wool for, um, a, you know, pr probably a three season version. Right. Or if you want to do this and think about, you know, having a nice little vest to pop on um, in the fall. Oh, when yeah. It cools off That'd some. be cute. This would be really pretty with just a white oh, blouse. Oh, yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to make that now. Mm -hmm. um, so this is Baby Soft from Lane de Nord, and that would be super fun. This is a cotton and soybean, so mm -hmm. that would be super nice. That's nice. And then the cotton silk tweed. Look at that. That's fun. Yeah. That's a nice blend. I don't know which one I'd go. I think orange mm -hmm. for the main. Yeah, I still yeah. love this yellow. I do too. Yeah. So that is called um, Spill the Tea. It's Marie Green's Four Day Knit Along, a sport weight. And um, Spill the Tea, you know, that's just not literal. It's, uh, it's like Spill like, the Beans. Spill the Beans. Tell what's me what's going up. On? What's new? That's yeah. right. Okay, so that's cute. Yep. Um, Ozetta came out with a new summer top. Um, and she loves this Wool Dreamers yarn. So she wrote this. It's called Lake Stripes. I like that. That's really pretty. I would pretty. like wearing that, I And think. she used this exact yarn, Sayona. Maybe from... a little shorter sleeve for me. But that is really cute. I love the shoulders. I know. I really um, do. That's is that, fun. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh huh. So this is a this yarn is um, from Spain and it's wool and cotton. And I was looking at this. This is a really good deal, you guys. It's um, it's two hundred and forty yards. It's only nine twenty five. So, it's a pretty good. It's yeah. That's a really pretty combo. That's more than what you would normally get in a fingering weight skein. You know that's. 480 yards. I know. Almost yeah, and this is a sport weight. Skeins. And then yeah. this is really pretty too. Yeah. So, and I, you know, this can take I like you. That one. This can take, this can be really all year long. But stripes, what a classic. Cute. 
her designs are um, are really nice, and they uh, she does use a lot of this uh, wool dreamers yarn. Um, and I really like that combination of wool and cotton. We have a lot of wool and cotton yarns in the shop, and mm -hmm. I just think it's really nice because it takes it it just so you can wear it all year. It's not just that one season. These are really nice firm balls. Yes, I felt that as well. <laughs> These firm. There, balls, it's nice. Yeah. It's a great yarn. Okay, try to go back into the normal. Normalcy. Okay, we had one of our customers come in. She finished Heather, her shirties. She finished mm -hmm. her shirty. It's so cute. So cute. It was not blocked, but no. she was heading out of town. Yeah, She's like, she Look. needed to show it. It's yeah. the Tolsta Tea. Cute. Isn't that wonderful? I absolutely love it. That's a Rebecca Clow pattern. I think she might live in the UK. I'm not totally um, sure. She, so Heather used a little mini pack of Emma's um, so she got last year it was all like gradients she didn't use all of the mm -hmm. gradients she, she edited the ones that yarn she really edit. liked mm -hmm. and then with the beautiful white or off white she I, doubled up perennial oh she did mm -hmm. okay so kind of equaled out to like a DK weight mm -hmm. okay yeah cute which so the Tolsta tea and tank they're separate patterns yeah. I think and it is Rebecca Clout it's a new pattern for this uh, okay so we winter, have spring. we have the Emma's um, LYS color in the DK cute oh, look, someone just said they live oh live in Edinburgh someone said oh okay thank you that was Cindy anyway so we thought this and this would be awesome. Mm -hmm. So I actually picked the wrong yarn, so fingering weight, but you would need a DK for the stripey part. Oh my gosh, you guys, come on. It's so cute. I'm sorry, I, can't, I don't have enough hours in the day. I know, yeah. Because this, yeah. And yes, Heather was super happy with this pattern. Oh, she, I would be too, and great. I think that's gonna look a lot Really she kinda, good on yeah, her. Yeah, she kind of really good it out. on her yeah. too. Yeah. So that was fun to see, and I think she said she thought about doing the tank also, but she decided to go ahead and, and do with the tee. How easy! Like super. I fun. love all these short sleeve t-shirts. I, mean, I know. I mean, yeah. you all you have to do is you know, put your sleeves on hold for a second. Right, and, and then you're basically then done. Then you just I do know. the ribbing. Bam, you're Super done. Cool. I love that. Love it. So, yeah, you could add that to your queue, um, get another shirty in. Um, yeah, that's really adorable. Thought we'd throw those two ideas out for you. Actually, three ideas. Okay. We, yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, okay. those are super fun. Mm -hmm. We've got um, a fun weekend coming up. It's the Pride so uh, much Dave going on Pride in Billings Craig on Billings. Saturday. Yeah, There's it's going to be crazy. Summer Fair is at Metro Park. Oh, yeah. I got to The get fundraiser there for the too. yam. That's fun. Um, the Pride Day um, Parade is Saturday morning. Um, and then Pride Festivities downtown. Yep. Um, there's something else. Is there? Uh, yeah, because the downtown, the DBA put something up. I think there might be. Um, like a car show thing or something at South Park. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Um, hey, come to Billings, everybody, this weekend. Else. It's going to be an awesome and it's weekend. it's hopefully not going to be raining, right? I it's don't think nice. so. I was mm -hmm. checking the weather. I mean, today's probably the cooler weather. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that, I don't know, I didn't check, but yesterday they said there was going to be like 7 to 10 inches of snow down in like southwestern part of Montana. Well, the Beartooth Pass is closed today. Oh, it is. So if you okay. are traveling through and hoping to go on Beartooth Pass today, you can't because the they only, have to clear the snow. The only way they get to use Beartooth Pass was if they came to the yarn Just bar and used our self-striping yarn. Get Pass striping <laughs> yarn from two sisters. We probably That's should awesome. get some more of that. And yeah, we're down to at least a yeah. couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, during the parade, right. um, we Saturday. are going to have all of our round, uh, all of rainbow. our rainbow yarns um, on sale. So we've got lots and lots. Nice. This is, this is the Pride colorway from Round Mountain. We absolutely love it, and everyone loves it. So I have it. We both have it. We ha What am I saying? We have it in fingering, fingering and DK. And DK. Right. So. And I then mean, Western Sky has rainbow pink. That one's going to be on sale. So we will. Um, we don't. We didn't pull all of our rainbow but yarns. Yeah, we but have we a lot. We have some rainbow yarns. Well, so, so anything rainbow, really, right? The Twenty-two percent. We're gonna. We can't do a couple of them because they're consignment items. Right. And but we like cannot. we have those little notebooks and. Um, no. Yeah. Okay. It's rainbow up to Sue. Stuff. Talk to Sue. Um, so. 
coming up so Saturday. So, yeah, so 22% 22, 22 off because it's on the 22nd. On the 22nd. So that's fun. That's a good deal. That's a great deal. Yeah, because, yeah. So spread the word. Glad I ordered extra. Right. And then, um, and then <clears throat> so, next Wednesday, we'll start our summer sale. Right. I know, which is different than what we've been doing the mm. past couple years. Mm. Um, the main reason is it's just we have so much fall stuff coming. We really need to 69, some, no, 89. <laughs> What's the what's the number you know. use when you want to get rid of stuff? I don't know. Anyway, I right. said the wrong one. I don't really know. So okay, sorry. Don't okay. laugh at me. Um, anyway, we, have, we need to make room for the new mm, stuff. So room for the new. Um, Everyone loves a sale. Um, we will tell you what will be on sale probably next Tuesday, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And we'll Today, have like a giant sale room. Like we're going to yeah, use our classroom. classroom is turning into sale room, which is what we did, I think sometime in the winter. Yeah. That worked was out really good. So instead of the big old, you know, sidewalk sale that doesn't really happen until end of July, well, this year which it's isn't like even the happening, first part of they're August. redoing it. Yeah, so right. we, it's time to, um, do a big sale. So it'll be progressive. It will run over two weekends starting on Wednesday next week. So you'll have um, a different sale, like different amounts. So Wednesday it'll be 15% off, Thursday 20, then 25. So we'll have a little schedule it's for you. It's sort of like the gambler sale. Yeah, definitely. You're kind of gambling because Every day. there will be sweater quantities of mm -hmm. stuff. So you will want to probably get in at the beginning if you're looking for if, sweater quantity yeah if you have the luxury of being right here yeah and easy to pop in you could come and check it out wednesday you could like make, decide you know do your whole gambling thing should i just get it now at 10 percent? no sorry is, it's gonna be 15 and this is gonna be just in the store like in store not online yeah because it's just too hard to manage we might, Manage I mean, depending that. on how it goes, if yeah. it's a dud thing, like we'll probably put it out there for the interweb, but, um, but for now it's going to be just, just in store and you could of course call us. Right. You know, right. You, but once work. you kind of find out what we're putting on sale, but if you know, Sue and I, we're kind of unpredictable. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like things start thinning out. Oh my God, we got to, what else can we add to this? Yeah, yeah. So um, it'll go, we're closed on July 4th, but then that final day on that Saturday after the 4th, which would be what, the 6th, it'll be 50% off in that sale room, and then we'll do 10% off store-wide right. for that just that one day. Um, um, it kind of was, I was just thinking like a long time ago, Jim and I had a garage sale on our house in Beverly Hill. Mm -hmm. And just when I thought we ran out of stuff, like I didn't know it, but he ran downstairs and got a couple of my chairs, which oh. if anybody knows me, you, you shouldn't it? like touch a chair unless <laughs> you talk to me. And he sold two chairs. Oh no. Yeah. So he'll just start adding stuff oh. to, yeah. so that's kind yeah, of what we might do. We are so. known to do that too. Yeah, and so our sale has first it was just going to be the week of July fourth, which would be, which would be great, um, but then we were kind of looking around today. I'm like, or yesterday, I said, I we need to let's have our sale sooner. So <laughs> um, just because you know we want to bring in some new stuff and all yeah, the things. So right. it's and it's time. Yep. So well, I always got to always don't think worry. Forward. Won't be your favorites. <laughs> what that we this stuff. Yep, yeah, there'll be stuff that yeah you know. Yep. We like to bring in new stuff. We so sure do. There's great yarn in the world. There, There mm -hmm. is, and some of the stuff we're looking at is mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. all over the world. Right. So, so we had um, a great little shipment of some samples from one of our vendors um, who's in, I think they're in Germany. And then um, next week also we have two visits from reps. So... Um, We've got a, we're always, yeah, time to think ahead. I know it. Fun. I know it. So I think that is it for today, folks. If, right. um, if there was anything that you had questions about um, that we talked about today, please don't be afraid to drop us an email or a, or a message mm -hmm. on Instagram. We're pretty good about answering all of those. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, you guys have an awesome week half a great and we'll day. see you soon Thanks i'm gonna reach across watching. the table this time okay smile Yay. <laughs>